I direct the Carnegie Airborne Observatory. It's this beautiful Dernier 228 aircraft uh, that has been tricked out, as some people say. Uh, it has, instead of having uh, rows of seats for passengers, it has a laboratory that my engineers built. I have fabulous engineers that do incredible work. And uh, it's a laboratory. You see desks. You see very high-end computing. And in the far back, you see something that we affectionately call the big gold sensor. Here's a view looking aft forward. And this is the sensor bay in the back. The sensor bay is comprised of three instruments, gold, white, and red. I won't go into them in detail, but they are looking out of the bottom of the plane. And one of the instruments images the land as we fly over in 3D. And it's using lasers to do that, firing those lasers at 500,000 times per second as we fly. Every laser beam is accounted for, where it went, when it came back, what it interacted with, and literally imaging the forest landscape as you see in the blue on the bottom there. And that's an actual cross section of this flight line. It's more fun to look at it this way. Extreme detail, leaf level, branch level detail. This is a lowland Amazon forest, as you would experience it as an eagle or a monkey on a bad day or whatever you'd call it. Uh, this, is th this was taken at 7,000 feet, but once we image it in 3D, we can fly through it and experience it just like the rest of the biology.